Hello, this is a quick video tutorial to show you how to use an action plan within Eurekaware. Let's start by explaining what an action plan is. An action plan is a set of repeatable tasks applied to a Eurekaware contact to automate marketing or other business functions. In previous versions of Eurekaware, we've referred to action plans as campaigns. So you may still find some text in the user guide or on the Eurekaware website that refers to action plans as campaigns. Know whenever you see campaigns that it's now called action plans. An action plan has three components. The action plan, action plan templates, and action plan tasks. The action plan is essentially a holding folder for all your, of your action plan templates. When you create an action plan, provide a meaningful subject and a good description of the action plan in your notes section. Within the action plan form, you'll be able to add action plan templates, delete action plan templates, delete action plan tasks that have been generated from this action plan, or update action plan tasks that have been generated from the action plan. Finally, you can also export all of your action plan templates and the action plan itself to an XML file that can be used to import into other versions of Eurekaware. The action plan template is a form that's used to specify the details of the tasks that will be created from the action plan. An action plan can have multiple action plan templates. These are useful for creating follow-up marketing messages or a series of activities that need to be generated for an action plan. We'll go into more detail about the action plan template later. And finally, the action plan tasks. These are no different than any other Outlook task, with the exception of the Action Plan tab, which specifies the action, action plan that the task was generated from. Now let's take a look at this within Eurekaware. Within Eurekaware, you'll have a series of two folders that are set up within your tasks. One is for your action plans. We're going to list down all the action plans associated under Eurekaware. The next is the action plan templates. Action plan templates are grouped by action plans and list each individual action plan template. You can also find this information from the Eurekaware menu. Go to Eurekaware, Action Plans, and you can see the View Action Plans or View Action Plan Templates. In addition, this menu item has sub-menu tasks for creating new action plans, for importing the XML files that have been generated from other users' action plans, exporting all action plans into a single XML or a series of XML files, share action plans. Sharing action plans allows you to go to a Eurekaware site where you can share action plans with other realtors. Finally, you can view the action plan tasks or send action plan tasks. Eurekaware queues up email tasks and will send them on the startup of every Outlook session. If you keep Outlook open day after day, you can manually send them by going to the Eurekaware menu and selecting Send Action Plan Tasks. Now let's create a quick action plan. I select New Action Plan, and again I provide details here. And then I create an action plan template. The action plan template will generate the action plan tasks. This template can either be an email message, an appointment, a letter, a phone call, or a to-do item, or virtually any other action item that you specify. To create your own custom action items, update the EW drop-down fields list, which can be found from the Eurekaware configuration menu. Specify a note, or the subject. The subject will be used as the subject of the email message or the appointment item or the task item that you've created. Then provide detailed notes. Again, this will become the body section of, of that task item. So in other words, if you create an email message, this will be the body of your email. In the notes section, you can provide specially formatted text. By right-clicking this, um, you can change the font, you can change the color. You, any rich text format that you want, you can put in. 
The actual way of doing this varies slightly from different versions of Outlook, but generally speaking, you, if you right-click, you'll get the rich text field controls. You can also drop mail merge fields. You can either drop mail merge fields for the associated contact. For instance, when I drop the first name, I can place that right here. When this template is converted to an action plan task for a specific contact, the name will be replaced with the first name of the contact. I can also provide information about my own I can also provide my own information by selecting items from the Your Information drop-down. So in this case, I'll drop in my own first name. This might be helpful if I want to put in a, um, a, a footer of some sort. Keep in mind, I update the, my information from the EurekaWare menu, going into Configuration, and then Your Information. At this point in time, I can automatically create the email message. I can do the same for appointments if I've created an appointment task. This will automatically create this item within Outlook. If I do not select this, it will create a task item reminding me to do this. I can also automatically assign this particular task to the contact. This will generate an email message sending it to my customer or whatever contact that I associate this task to. If they also have Outlook, as they update this task, I will be the task will be updated back in my version of EurekaWare. Finally, I can specify the date for this uh, task item. This will be the due date. I can specify this by spe by setting the date type for days out. So I can set it for 30 days out, in which case the task will be created 30 days from the time that I assign the contact to this action plan can also specify date prior and specify the starting on date. For instance, if I want to set up the due date to be 30 days prior to the closing date, I simply specify dates prior in the date type and closing date on the starting on date. With, three, with these three fields, I can virtually specify any date that I want. In addition, if I want to just specify a specific date, all I have to do is say specific date and then the month and date of that day. Finally, if I'd like to, I can make that an annual recurring event as well. Now I've created my action plan task, my action plan, and my action plan template. Finally, when I, when I assign my action plan to a contact record, that will automatically create action plan tasks. Action plan task is, again, no different than any other Outlook task, with the exception of some details here that specify which action plan was created from. Once I've created my action plans, I can assign them to a contact. I simply open the contact record, select action plans, and then assign the action plan to the contact. In this case, I'm choosing my closing action plan. I specify today as the start date for my campaign. I can choose any date I wish. It will default to today's date. And then I select Add. All the action plan tasks have been added to this contact record, and I can see them by collect hitting activities within the contact detail. I now see all of the action plan task activities that were generated. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you.